Hey guys, welcome back to Ace Recaps. Today I'm going to be explaining a 2020 Korean horror thriller film titled, Alive. The protagonist of the film, Jun Woo, is an avid gamer and streamer who lives with his best friend. One morning, he wakes up to find the world brought to its knees by a deadly virus. As he peeps out his window, he spots the entire city go haywire. The virus has turned people into shrieking, flesh-eating zombies, working its way through the masses. June's apartment complex turns into a complete hotspot with zombies roaming around looking for fresh meat. Our lonely protagonist has no choice but to distance himself from the rest of the world and self-quarantine. That evening, his friend manages to make it back home safe, or so it seems. The man's been hiding a bite which makes his eyes bleed. He quickly turns into one of the flesh-eating monsters, but not having the guts to kill his best friend, he somehow manages to push him out the apartment without being bit. He tries calling for help, but the network seems to be down and nobody answers. Fearing he'd be stuck there for much longer as the world is coming to an end, he does whatever it takes to make it work for as long as possible. He secures his apartment from zombies by moving a refrigerator in front of his door and strictly staying indoors. He also segregates his food into portions but it seems like they wouldn't last him more than a few days. Feeling isolated and alone and despite having a weak internet connection, June succeeds in posting a cry for help on social media. Struck by boredom, he decides to get back into gaming but is interrupted by the sound of gunshots. As he looks out his window, he spots a policewoman fighting for her life, but ultimately falls prey to the deadly creatures. He screams to grab her attention, but she is powerless and dragged away. Listening to his screams, one zombie gets through his door. The brave kid hangs off his balcony and as the creature runs after him, it trips and falls to its death. He makes a better seal of the door and continues to record his last message to his family as he's sure the end is near. Slowly falling into the depths of depression due to isolation and no human contact, the man starts drinking heavily and turns to alcohol for comfort. As he watches the news, he learns that the zombies are attracted to sound and sight and decides to cover up his windows so they won't be able to see him. When he realizes that there's no more water in the building, the man starts to have a mental breakdown. He cries, breaks his TV and starts hanging out his balcony in an attempt to call for help, but nothing works. He walks out his apartment and starts beating the living crap out of one of the infected. He starts screaming, and to his horror, he is cornered by the zombies. He hides in the hall until he manages to pick himself up and silently walk past the creatures and into his apartment. That night, he manages to get through to his family only to hear them being mauled to death. Listening to the screams of his beloved parents, desperate and lonely, the man decides to do the unthinkable. As he hangs himself, someone shines a laser on his face and gives him the motivation to fight another day. The laser points to the posters on the wall directing him to not commit the unthinkable as he's not battling the apocalypse on his own. He manages to break free of the bondage, and on further examination, he spots a woman named Kim living right across from his building. The following day, the both of them get to know each other better, and as destiny planned out their entire encounter, they grow fond of each other. Kim traps a zombie that tried to enter her apartment and finishes it off by swinging an axe through its head. Lucky for them, that night, it pours down heavily and the both of them use this opportunity to grab some water by setting up vessels by their window. June uses this water to quench his thirst and clean himself since it's been days and he must be stinking, so he probably wanted to smell good before meeting his soulmate from across the building. Can't be messing shit up now, am I right? The next morning, Kim decides to set up a line of string across the building, to help pass on essentials to June. She ties up a baseball and throws it over, but it does not make it as her throw wasn't strong enough. June uses this opportunity to show off his brilliance and he ties a string to his drone and flies it over to Kim's place. She passes on a bag of food to him using the string, and the man finally has a meal after days. Guess we need to stock up our houses too in case of another pandemic. June spots something weird and tries to warn Kim but she can't seem to understand him. A zombie below their building has found the string-attached baseball and uses it to climb up to Kim's apartment. As the creature snags onto the rope, the table attached to it hits Kim and she passes out. As the zombie gets closer, June tries his best to distract it but to no avail. 
He moves onto his last resort by flying his drone towards the zombie, but unfortunately it grabs onto the device and destroys it. Just before it could enter Kim's apartment, she uses an axe to chop off its hand, saving her life. It's the last packet of ramen left, and the both of them have seemed to run out of food. Their only hope now is to risk their life and figure something out. That night, Jun gears up and heads out of his home. He sneaks past the zombies and into his neighbor's apartment. There, as he scavenges through the refrigerator and is thankful to find enough food for the both of them, as he looks through the apartment, he spots a woman dead in her bed. He finds a bunch of useful equipment, including a pair of walkie-talkies. He's suddenly interrupted by one of the creatures and manages to use the dead woman as a shield before bolting straight out the apartment and back into his home. He feasts well that night and also drinks some beer. He packs up some stuff including the walkie-talkie and sends it over while Kim is asleep. The next morning, he hears her voice for the first time. The both of them have a hearty conversation, cook together and have an old school date. Do I need to cause a zombie apocalypse to find love like this? As they continue to talk, loud helicopters in the vicinity cause the creatures to start running around the building. Scared for their life, the both of them fall to the ground in order to not draw any attention. They both figure out that this is the best time for them to escape and meet each other. After packing up whatever is needed, Kim uses some climbing equipment and jumps straight out her balcony like she's Spider-Woman. June is now more attracted to her than ever. She fights off as many of the evil creatures as possible, but is unfortunately overpowered by the large number of zombies. June uses sheets from his home to climb down his balcony as well, and just in the nick of time, drags her to safety. Once inside the building, they try to find shelter but are once again cornered by a large number of zombies. June stays back to fend them off to protect his woman and the both of them are luckily saved by someone with smoke grenades. They are skeptical at the man's kindness at first, but soon get accustomed to his generosity. He feeds them some water and food and reassures them that a rescue team is on their way to help the survivors around the city and the both of them with tears of joy, are now filled with hope of survival. As he lights up a cigarette, they realize something has gone terribly wrong. The man has drugged them and uses zip ties to strap their hands together. He drags Kim to a room, and lets his zombie wife have a go at her while he holds her down. Not being able to accept that his wife is no more, he continues to feed her in hopes of getting her back one day. The zombie wife tries her best to munch on Kim's flesh but she's strong enough to hold her back. By then June snaps out of the drug and using a gun in the apartment rescues Kim. As he opens up the door, the creature tackles her husband and gets a hold of the man. He gladly gives himself up by hugging his dear wife and letting go of all earthly pleasures. With a heavy heart, Kim shoots the both of them and finishes them off. Due to the loud noise of the gunshots, all the surrounding zombies rush into the building. June finds it hard to trust Kim as she might have been bitten, but looking at her innocent face, he decides to let it go. Suddenly they hear a helicopter around the building. The couple decide to play their last card and rush to the roof. They give it their all and fight off as many as the infected as possible and get there without being bitten. They lock down the door, but unfortunately they see no one around. June cries his heart out and the zombies break free of the door. As they see no more hope, he fires his last remaining bullets but it's useless. There are too many of them. Just as they are about to be mauled by the infected, the military show up from the back and shoot them down. The both of them get into the helicopter and are flown away from the city. The movie ends as we watch the happy couple smile that they're now finally out of the dead zone. We see many more people post on social media for help, just like June did, meaning there are many more rescues to be conducted. That's all folks, thank you for watching, if you like the video please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Have a great day.